don't be such a perfectionist. Take things a little bit uh, lighter and easier because that was uh, uh, the thing that actually didn't maybe let me open up a little bit more because I was too, de too demanding on myself. Uh, but tennis is such a sport that uh, it's a very difficult sport because one day you feel one way, then the other day you feel the other way. Things may not work one day, then it's absolutely fantastic the other day. So, you know, to find that uh, balance and a little bit mm, peace of mind is very important because uh, I was one of those players that I wanted every day to be like a perfect day. And that uh, made me frustrated many times. I a little bit lost interest watching women's tennis because you don't see those dominant players. Like when I used to play the top 10, you just name a name, it was like a star. And every one of them did win Grand Slams. So, uh, now we don't have this uh, strong leaders in women's tennis. So anybody can win and, uh, and that's, why, that's what we see. I don't know, to me it's... Um, uh, it's kind of like losing tennis is changing a little bit. Maybe a couple of uh, players are still in the development right now. So hopefully maybe in a couple of years we will see this uh, uh, consistent, you know, players from top 10. At the moment, anyone can win. She is honestly amazing. <laughs> I had a chance to play with her. And uh, I always was like uh, a little bit um, not confused, like also surprised. You know, if you look at her, the way she presents herself on the court and the way she looks, she doesn't look like she's very strong or she's very athletic. She is not rushing between the points. She's you know taking time, and it looks like. And then she goes and uh, goes to uh, quarterfinals at Wimbledon, uh, and then she gives birth to a child, and after three years later, come back like nothing, and goes again in the bar at the US Open. It was just amazing to see. <laughs> Watch out, young players. She can be a threat, even though she doesn't look like.